So, hey, gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. Why is it the timing for a new Child's Play Perfect right now, like this, this coming year? Yeah, well, I guess uh, definitely um, w when we were talking about the project, um, we were trying to figure out a, a way to, an in for the new Child's Play, what, what made it relevant now, what made it interesting in, in 2019, and, and we started thinking about what the product of, of uh, Chucky the, the doll, what it would be today or, or in the future. Uh, and we started talking about our relationship with technology and, and electronics and, and all of these intelligent devices that we have and, and the interconnectivity and just having that as kind of a foundation for even the product uh, buddy, the, the product that, that Chucky kind of inhabits, mm -hmm. uh, gave kind of an interesting new uh, take on, on Chucky um, and a new kind of lens to see this, this horror through that felt kind of relevant and allowed us to... Uh, without really talking about it, just show kind of our relationship with technology and and kind of some of those inherent fears that a lot of people have about uh, our relationship with technology and, and kind of building that into the concept but still telling a, an interesting character story within that framework um, felt like something that, that was relevant today that wasn't relevant even, you know, 10 years ago. So I think that that was kind of where we came from in terms of the concept. Excellent. And, uh, I, and speaking of technology, at your panel, you're talking about animatronics using technology to basically uh, f film film chucking a little bit of the CGI. Why not, why did you want to stay away from CGI, and why not a, an actor in a costume? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, an actor in a costume dealing with this. It's you know it's interesting if you if you wanna they did it in the uh, original one in, from the '88, and that they put a little guy in a costume and they built the sets way much bigger to kind of create it which is was an extraordinary special effect at that time it still is for this it's basically doing animatronics a bit physical uh, of it. it it creates something that you as an audience can connect to and more connection to the doll and and also for the characters in the movie you know, there's just this living and breathing person there uh, a doll um, you want to be careful with um, uh, there's, a, there's a fine balance because if you're going to do a movie like this, if you have a, a doll and it's transformed during the like internal transformation during the the movie, and you're dealing with a killer doll, um, you will quickly find yourself in in, in in places where it's difficult to 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 do everything you you can do physical with animatronics. Um, so that their CG and like the visual effects will be a, a huge help there to, to, to help you to craft those scenes and, and imagery that you would like to have. One last question. Which of, of the previous Child Play Chucky movies you love the most? Uh, I mean, I would say the first one, I think just because I have uh, a more emotional connection with that, it was the one that I didn't see the rest of the Child's Play movies until much later. Uh, and that one truly terrified me to my core when I saw it. So, I mean, Child's Play 2 is, is also a really yeah. solid one uh, a as one. well. But I, but I think just, you know, the, the, the relationship between Andy and Chucky in the, the first one and, and uh, Karen as the mom, and, and there were so many elements that, that worked so well uh, and was so new at that time that I think that's definitely my favorite. Same for you? Same for me. All right. Hey, thank you, gentlemen. Hey, thank, thank you very you. much. Thanks. Thank you. All right, perfect. That's right.